Apart from the usual interview question, that is, tell me about yourself, what are your strengths and weaknesses, in even salaries, what other questions should you expect if you are planning to attend a procurement uh, job interview? So in today's video, I will share with you some of the areas that you most likely be tested on and even the skills that the employer will be testing you on, you know, they'll be expecting you to speak about. So which other areas should you expect to be tested on if you're attending a procurement interview? So the first area is the buying process. And as you know here, we're talking about the quality, quantity, price, time, and place. How do you ensure that the buying process that you set in place is able to ensure that the company um, process, procurement process goes on smoothly and that the company is able to achieve its objective. The other area is about setting policies and procedures when it comes to the procurement uh, department. You'll also be uh, tested on supplier relations. You know, how do you ensure uh, you keep good relationship with suppliers? And also don't forget um, the fourth area, and this has to do with record keeping and business systems. You know, what you commonly know as contract management when it comes to procurement. So I believe those are the four main areas that you should watch out for. Number one, the buying process. Number two, setting up appropriate policies and procedures, supplier relations, and last three, records and business management. And what will be a potential employer be very keen on? What skills will they be testing, testing you on? Uh, here I have five skills for you. And number one skill when it comes to procurement is you should be able to exhibit strong negotiation skills. That's given. Why? Because the nature of procurement is any employer or any business entity, they want to procure goods or services at the most um, affordable cost for the organization. They'll also be interested to see whether you have strategic thinking, especially if uh, you are supervisory or managerial position. You should be able to see how does procurement fit in in the bigger uh, picture within the organization. Also, another key skill is about relationship management. And here I had talked about it when I was telling you the ideas that you'll be interviewed you on. Why? Because you need to, give, to keep good uh, relationship with suppliers. Reason being, you don't want the day that you want to restock and the supplier tells you no, either because there's a stock out or they are considering other suppliers, you know, other customers. So having good relationship management skills is really vital if you are to succeed in the procurement profession. You also need to display integrity that you are, and also that you are ethical in your operations. Why? Because we know there are a lot of temptations when it comes to the procurement uh, uh, department. You'll meet suppliers who are not ethical. So how do you represent the best interest of the organization? So you'll be asked questions, you know, related to integrity. Have you been in a situation where someone has, pay, has asked you to take something small and you look the other way around or you buy from them? Expect such kind, kind of questions to come up. And lastly, um, business processes. Again, if you're in supervisory or management position, how do you ensure that you set the right business processes, you know, so that the department is efficient? Whether it's hiring people, performance management, um, offering leadership, team management, all those are key skills uh, when it comes to business uh, processes. Even SOP, putting in place standard operating procedures. So if you're attending, um, a procurement uh, job interview i do hope that this video has assisted you and every week we post uh, videos relating to careers and uh, my goal is to be able to empower you such that whether you are going for an interview whether you are writing cvs your cv whether you're interacting with colleagues at the office you can do this in a way that will be able to help you advance in your career so thank you very much for watching and if you've been attending interviews and you find there's a gap, you know, you attend interviews, but for one reason or another, employers don't call you back, you know, they don't give you the offer, then why don't you get in touch with us for our interview coaching service and one of our HR experts you sit with you, help you prepare for your next interview by asking you questions, you know, it's a mock interview, you sit with them, it's a one-on-one, -on -one. they give you feedback on how you're answering questions, how is your confidence level, 
are you able to bring out your expertise and skill set in the right manner and where can you improve they also be able to help you on how to answer some of these tough interview questions and sometimes I've, met, I've also met candidates who, I mean, they're not working for one reason or another. Maybe they were declared redundant or they were fired from their last position and they don't know what to say during the interviews. So all those things are discussed during the interview coaching sessions and you receive expert guidance and help. So that now, when it comes to the real interview, you'll be able to conquer that interview and have the confidence to face the interviewer. So thank you very much for watching. If this is your first time, do subscribe for more timely advice.